<laughs> Lamp. <laughs> Worth a try. God, he did that so nonchalantly. Hmm. So this is a pretty badass mm -hmm. office, if you ask me. I have the record right here. Give me one more. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Man. That's really I'll be funny. sure to let him know. Alright, so now we can look at the fabled mirror that is not on a wall. <laughs> Let's just talk to it. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? So we actually get to choose. Um, so let's ask about Miss. Uh, actually, let's take a look at Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. Interesting. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Alright, well, let's take a look at uh, Buffkin, I guess. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> and last but not least... Snow. Show me Snow White. <laughs> Not much of a request. She's in this very room. <laughs> Alright. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Right. Well, let's leave. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Will do. Speaking of the buffkin. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. So now that he brought over the three fable books, we can go over and investigate as well. So let us do this. Let us go on this adventure, shall we? Let's take a look at this big picture book. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. Well, isn't that convenient? So here we have very many memorable and unforgettable instances of fables. Some we have met, some we have yet to meet. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. This looks familiar. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. And him. The woodsman? This axe. Oh, a little red. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Let's take a look at beauty. Beauty in happier days. Uh, fun fact, the person who voiced beauty, I didn't bring it up. Uh, she actually is Clementine. They use a lot of other characters from other games to help voice all of these ones. So that's pretty interesting. And her man, Beast. Funny. <laughs> Colin and his brothers. And over here we have the 
the great king and a very mysterious girl. Huh, this is interesting. Let's take a look at Ichabod Crane, shall we? Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Hmm, you got that right. Let's take a look at this skunk. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> And Mr. Toad. Nice hat. <laughs> That's all he says. Alright, now for the last figure who, you know, might not look exactly as familiar as you might think. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go take a look at this one. See if we can find the symbol that we're looking for. The insignia on the ring and such. Oh god. Letters, words, fewer pictures. How could we do this? Well, fortunately Buffkin is apparently a master translator in the ancient art of the English language, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Bumpkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, and we can take a look at... Is that the only thing? Apparently so. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Elvish text, apparently. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older Elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. Oh. <laughs> He's like, not sure if serious, but I'm going to take your word on that, Buffkin. And let's take a look at this symbol. What's hmm. that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Nope, not quite. This is pretty cool. I wonder if something like this actually exists. Probably with <laughs> not so many pictures, but, you know. And... Last page we have yet to see. It's the symbol we were looking for. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl. Also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> Ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Damn. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. 
You think he did it? Hmm. No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. <laughs> what were those expressions? <laughs> oh, this game has a tendency to be pretty odd sometimes. So, now that we know about Prince Lawrence, her father, and Faith herself, we have a little chatting to do here with the magic mirror once again. So mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about oh. this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Alright, so let's take a look at Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Hmm. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Alright, let's take a look at uh, Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh. What's he been doing? That... Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. What? Wait, what? <laughs> how did how did she know exactly where he lived just by having that very low camera angle shot of a dagger covered in blood by his legs? I don't know. I'm not going to question it. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Go goes. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Hmm. Well, you've proved to be a lot of help, Magic Mirror. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Alright, let's do it. What? Sorry. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Hmm. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Hmm. Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Oh. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Decisions. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Nothing else to do here. I like the way he opened the door for her, though. Man, door closing physics. Not really Telltale's forte in case. Did Toad say who was there? Realize. Was it the Woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. So, as per Telltale tradition, you now have a choice. Depending on which one you go to first, certain paths will be closed and opened simultaneously. And while Toad's... He seemed a little more pressing at the matter... He has not proven himself to be very compliant in the past. So, I'm actually going to take Lauren's apartment first because there was a bloody dagger. And in all honesty, <laughs> Toad's kind of an asshole. And he can wait. Let's do it. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Let me just walk there. <laughs> I can take you there. 
but of course we'll just walk there. 